Hello, so welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're using tarot cards and we are asking the question, how can I be happier right now? What is it that I need to know or to do that will make me happier at this moment? And we have three tarot decks here. We have option one, option two, and option three. Go ahead, make your selection. Now let's get started. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're using tarot today to find out what is it that I can do right now to be happier? What is it that I need to do right now to be happier? What do we have here? So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, the question today is how can I be happier right now? And it appears to me that you're indecisive about something or that there needs to be some kind of decision that would be, if you would take this decision, you would feel a lot happier. Now, what I've been shown here is that there's a fair degree of uh, reminiscence and um, I, I wouldn't say it's nostalgia or sentimentality. I would say it's just a kind of, um, being in the past, thinking a lot about what's happened, um, thinking about how things could have been different, thinking about how um, if you if this and this wouldn't have happened, then you wouldn't be in the situation. And I feel that that is um, a way that is, it's kind of, you kind of think that you're looking forward. You're like telling yourself, okay, I'm looking forward. I'm thinking about this just to see how I can not make the same mistakes or something to that effect. You were thinking at this moment that you're looking forward but in fact you're not the cards tell me that you are still kind of hung up about something that's happened in the past and it's still hurting and it's still um causing quite an emotional reaction in you but you aren't able to actually you're not ready to leave it behind you're not ready to just leave it in the past and i feel here that you might not be conscious of it it might be something that uh, defines how you go about your daily life, your attitudes towards people, your attitudes towards uh, situations, and you're not really aware of it. It's something that kind of de um, defines you without you necessarily knowing about it. So some people might be well aware of it, but others might be going about their daily life and not really realizing that something from the past is actually what's motivating them. Something that happened in the past is what's encouraging them on a daily basis to be a certain way and this way is what's causing your your in your unhappiness at the moment or your not your unhappiness necessarily but it's causing you to be um less fulfilled in your life less joyful than you really can be in this life now what i see here is the the first thing that comes up is the suggestion to make a decision, the suggestion not to sit on the fence any longer, but to be quite decisive about how you go about doing things in the future. They are asking here for you to not be uh, wishy-washy, not to be um, unclear about how you feel about certain things, but rather to be very clear, do your research, be very clear about what it is that you think, how it is that you feel, if perhaps it requires you to spend a bit of time thinking about that and then being able to make a decision, being able to be, make a decision and to stick by that decision, to be able to stand by what it is that you need to um, offer to the world or what it is that you've decided you're going to do from now onward. And then just look towards the future. Just look towards what it is that might be um, your future or, or what you dream of or what you'd like to manifest for yourself in the future. Now, the two cards that fell out at, um, earlier in the deck um, was a Knight of Pentacles and another Pentacle card. Um, and I think that it's, um, I think that it's kind of, it could be based on material stuff, like some of your unhappiness or your lack of um, of fulfillment or joy at this time might be based on something that's related to your finances or money that you might be owing or money that you might have um, lost um, or you might feel that you've lost um, money that you feel that you might have invested incorrectly um, or where you feel like you might have spent some money but you have not gotten the worth that you need from that 
um, experience. And I feel here that if you were to revisit the ad and if you were to look at the situation a bit differently, so given the example that you, you were in a situation where you've paid some money and you didn't feel that you were getting your money's worth, if you're frustrated about that and that's causing you a bit of uh, unhappiness or being unsettled, then I think it's necessary for you to go back and communicate with the people you know, that you've dealt with. If it's not possible to communicate with the people that you've dealt with or the institution that you dealt with, then it's time for you to bring that to peace. It's time for you to let that be, to be able to to actually move ahead because it's kind of, what I feel here, it's it's you. It's you who's stopping yourself from moving ahead. It's, you know, the saying, um, the common saying, the very overused saying, you are your worst enemy. It feels here that you are the one, you are the only one in charge of, of your happiness right now. And you are always in charge of your happiness. But what I mean is that you're the only one who can make a difference with regard to your happiness. And you are the one that's blocking it at this moment. And I feel that if you were to be able to be a bit more proactive in terms of your finances or be able to make a decision with regard to previous finances uh, or just to be able to come to terms with where you are at financially so that things are, you can just be at peace with it. Then I feel that this decision or the sitting on the fence is going to be a lot easier for you. You're going to be able to make a decision more easier. You're going to be able to move ahead more easier. And the kind of um, lack of, of, of joy or the forlornness that you might be experiencing right now is going to evaporate. It's going to move away from you because you're going to feel like you have a proper basis. You have proper security. You feel more secure in yourself and you feel more certain about yourself and about decisions that you've made. Now, I feel here that um, it's necessary to kind of just um, be honest with yourself and identify where it is that some of this indecision is coming from and where is it that the lack of of, um, of ultimate happiness and and satisfaction is uh, d comes from, where it arises from. Because I think if you had to look at it uh, a little bit closer, a little bit deeper, then you will be able to find exactly where it comes from. And I want you to make peace with it. I want you to, to just feel like, you know what, um, whatever's happened, I can either do something about it and make the change, and then you go ahead and make the plan for what it is, is that you will do. And, or oh, you can't change it anymore. It's too late. There's nothing that you can do about the situation. And you're moving ahead. You're moving forward. And you're going to lay it to rest. Because that's what I feel. I feel like you need to lay this to rest so that you can move ahead. And you need um, a way forward where you say, okay, well, this is the way I'm going to go. And I'm not going to look back at all. I'm not going to think about where I've come from. I'm not going to engage in these kind of thoughts that actually are working uh, not in my favor anymore and I'm just going to move ahead with my life at this moment so I'm going to leave it there I hope that that helps you to be happier right now and that you can actually move ahead and make that decision and just leave behind the past I know that what I'm saying sounds quite trite and it, quite, it can sound like it's a lot easier to to say than than to actually achieve as most things are but go ahead and give it a try and see if it makes a difference to you all right i'm leaving you there and wishing you many blessings as you go ahead and for those of you who've chosen the second option here we are asking what can i do to be happier right now what is it that i need to do at this moment that would make me happy that can bring me a greater sense of joy. And for those of you who've chosen the second option and we're asking the question, how can I be happier right now? The first thing I see here is a confirmation of the discontent. It's the... Uh, the feelings of uh, despair, despondency, where you just not, you know, nothing interests you anymore. You might be bored. You might be slightly bored. You might be, um, you might have lost hope that you could have a certain thing. Perhaps it's love or perhaps it's a particular kind of financial well-being um, or a particular drive that you might have uh, wished to have in your life. And I feel here that um, the the thing that is most 
um, st- the, the thing that stands in your way is almost being too grown up. It almost is about taking too much of a responsibility. Uh, taking too much of a responsibility, trying to play the role of being in charge or, or doing things, being in control of your life all the time is what is robbing you of the uh, possibility of uh, of having newness in your life, of having spontaneity in your life. And this is actually what the problem is here. It feels to me like you need to um, inject a bit of spontaneity in your life, a bit of uh, a bit of life. And the way to do that is to be not to be irresponsible, but to not take your responsibility so seriously, to not uh, think so much about what it is that's required from you and not place so much of energy or emphasis on that in your life. Because it feels to me here that you spend a way too much of time just um, kind of um, thinking about what is what needs to be done, what is your homework, what is your uh, work required from you, what is what are the bills that you need to pay? What are the things that you need to do? Or what is required from you in a home environment? Perhaps you live with your family or you live with someone and you are required to do quite a lot of chores at home and uh, to keep things running. And these things weigh you down a bit and you feel a little bit bored or despairing or you have a lack of luster in your life as a result of the lack of newness in your life because things are not... It's like you've reached a plateau and things are not moving ahead any longer and you don't know what to do from this point. And so I think that uh, as a result, your your status, your the, the place that you're at, the place that you've come to, it's actually what's making you feel um, restricted or making you feel suffocated in some kind of way. And so I would suggest here that the thing to do would be to simply... Um, allow yourself to take a, st- a few steps back and or even go back to the beginning try to go back to the beginning at first perhaps you won't feel that that joy that fire that you felt um right uh, at the beginning or earlier on in your life but i think what will happen here is that you could um you could retrace some of the steps and you could find a place where you still had uh, joy and I think the the way to do that is to do little things to do almost like childlike things to childlike joys to introduce new um a new energy level in your life so right now I feel that, that there's no space for any other kind of energy but I think that if you were to um uh, engage in a new level of energy it's almost like a new frequency uh, a new vibrational frequency that you're inviting into your life and the way to do that would be to do things that bring you joy um, in a childlike way uh, or make you feel happy and lighter in a childlike way and I feel like almost going to like a merry-go-round or something like this would make you feel a lot better or doing something that a kid would do um, doing something that you did as as a child perhaps coloring in or, or doing something creative like painting or sewing or making something uh doing some handicrafts or or doing something i know for some of you that might sound hideous and uh, and that you would not want to do any of that but i think that um it's just something it, it it's just i don't i don't know what what it is that resonates exactly with you but something that you know that if you do this it makes you feel like a child again it makes you feel light it makes it melts all the responsibilities away from you it melts all the must do's away from you and the the should do's away from you and makes you feel like a little bit lighter and once you engage this frequency in your life then you're going to find that you can retrace the steps a little bit more and slowly you're going to be able to bring this fire back in your life that you might have lost along the way or that you you haven't really lost it it's still there it's just that you feel a, it looks to me like you're a bit bored with what you have at the moment it looks to me like you know you're kind of like sitting and waiting for something to happen and that thing is not happening and so you're getting bored with waiting and sitting and waiting for this thing to happen or you kind of have reached a certain level where you can't go further at this moment in your life and so it feels like in order to make progress you need to make huge changes or you're not really sure about how to make progress in your life and how to in, to bring uh, an new 
excitement in your life. And I think that it almost feels like impossible right now. It almost feels like you need to give up a lot in order to get that new excitement. And the, what I'm suggesting is that you spend a little bit of time and energy doing things that make you feel like a child again. And then you're going to feel like this freedom. It's almost like you you feel like you can't breathe in the, at the moment. And you feel suffocated by responsibility or by what is required of you. And I feel like if you could just uh, spend a bit of time doing something that makes you feel a lightness of being, then what you're going to find is that you are able to breathe better. You're able to feel a lot better from what, from, yeah, from from what your responsibilities are regardless of your responsibilities regard regardless of what's required of you what is due what assignments are due or what um bills are due you're gonna feel like it's it's gonna be okay you're gonna feel like okay i can take this on why because you've given yourself a chance to breathe some pure oxygen in the form of some lightness of being and i think that this is the solution here for you there's a lot of potential for you to be happy there's a huge potential for you to be happy and to be satisfied to feel really well with yourself and i feel like um you kind of maybe you traveled really quickly along a certain path or maybe your life has just been all about your studies and your work and and getting to a certain position and you haven't, you've kind of lost the, the fun times along the way. And so it's time to reintroduce that back into your life in some way or the other. For some of you, it might be sport. For some of you, it might be dance. You know, dance is a wonderful way in which to bring back lightness into your life. So just put some music on and just let your body move to that. Let your body guide you in how to move towards that. For some of you, it might be just, you know, being out at night and looking at the stars and looking at the moon or taking a walk in nature and that gives you a little bit of, of joy. It gives you the room to breathe. It gives you that space where you kind of feel like it's okay, you know, it's okay and things are not going to always be like this. It could be that you're also bored of the situation that we all currently have going on at the moment um, and this is also causing you some kind of despair and you feel like even though you have uh, achieved so much or you've gotten to a certain status in your life, you still feel like it's not enough and you still feel like you have a long way to go and you feel restricted as a result of all these things put together. So I think take a moment to just do something that makes you feel so happy in that moment and don't worry about it not lasting. Don't worry about it not being there all the time or not being your 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 state of being all the time just do something perhaps you like to cycle perhaps you just need some fresh air and you need to just get out there and just feel like it's okay to be alive once again because what what you're really missing what i feel that you're really missing here is the chance to feel alive to feel this happiness to feel this joy in your life all right so i wish you all the best i hope that you can actually have that and you can have that really soon right now actually and i wish you all the best in your world as you go ahead many blessings to you all. and for those of you who've chosen the option number three we're asking how can i be happier right now what is it that i can do at this moment to bring me the happiness that i desire that i need in my life to sustain me Okay, so here I see a situation that uh, might have caused you some degree of trauma, some degree um, of separation, um, some something that's really upset you. And it looks like and feels like here that um, you do need some help with the situation. You do need perhaps some a therapist or counselor or some uh, perhaps a psychotherapist who can actually help you 
um, to be able to get through this. What I see here is that you definitely need some help to get through all of this. It's not going to be something that's just a matter of doing a card reading and that you're going to be through this. And what I see is that you are still coping and dealing with some kind of trauma or some grief, um, something like this, which keeps you locked into a space of um, of despair, not despair, but uh, just being unable to move ahead, like this deep sadness is um, is a, a part of your life. There's a sense here that um, there there can be so many things that can move ahead. There can be so many plans that could have moved ahead. There could have been so many um, opportunities for you and perhaps with somebody else or with other people in some kind of way. But that has been somehow destroyed and there's it's like you walk every day with a deep sense of sadness in you and almost having given up almost there's a sense that you might be trudging along you might be doing whatever it is that you need to do but there's a sense here that it's almost like you're forcing yourself to do these things it's almost like you really carry in you a very deep sense of sadness that needs to be resolved and the way in which I would suggest that you do this is with some help now however you choose your help it doesn't have to be a traditional way of getting assistance it might be by using some alternative means. However, you do need to to help yourself with this. It's not going to be um, something that you can feel. You're not going to be able to access your true joy unless you lift out, up lids and lids of, of or covering so many layers of coverings which are holding you down, holding you back and not being not allowing you to feel the true joy that you can you have a birthright to feel. And I feel here that um, with regard to all of that, there's also a sense of having lost dreams, lost um, opportunities. And one of the things that you potentially could do, I'm not sure if it'll make you happier though, but one of the things that could help you is to set out new goals, new dreams, and to actually be able to believe in them. Because it feels like to me that when you stopped... Um, when, when this disappointment or this difficulty came into your life, you stopped believing that the things that you can hope for or dream of can be a reality. And this is something that's also weighing you down because there's this belief that you hold that you can't be happy. And um, it's not um, strange to me that you have that because you've obviously suffered a fair b amount and you're still dealing with the difficulty and the sadness and the grief that you have and therefore you need to actually get some assistance with that so that you can get to yourself to a stage where you're feeling um well what is normal or some some degree of balance in your life and then you can begin to build up and and sus and create a sustained happiness in your life but in the moment to feel happier right now i think the decision needs to be taken to be able to help yourself and action needs to be taken to do that so perhaps make some phone calls to make you um to or do some research to identify how you need to be helped and what it is that how you would like to be helped and what kind of energy you'd like to subject yourself to and how yeah how what kind of people or what kind of help you'd like to have in your life and i think from there on you're going to be able to find that you are able to make some some changes some differences in your life and this will start at least will be the beginning of a long journey ahead where you will ultimately heal yourself and come over the pain and the trauma that you feel and be able to bring happiness into your life um, or over a longer term if you're averse to getting help from somewhere or being able to access this help be you if you want to do this by yourself I think that the way to do this is to sit down first and write down all the things that upset you uh, or, or be able to acknowledge all the things that upset you and be able to work through each one of them one by one to be able to go in, feel the emotions, feel what could have been done differently, um, invite the forgiveness into your world and be able to release it. And I think that you could potentially do this. You could do this quite easily, actually. Um, with your without the assistance of another but uh, obviously with the assistance of another might be might resonate with some of you and it might also be easier it's also always easier when you have somebody who 
could hold your hand and help you through a situation like this, especially when you have undergone such a lot of difficulty or trauma in your life. I think here as well, or there's such a deep sense of disappointment. It could just be that, you know, um, well, I wouldn't say it's just be, but it could be that you've lost a job or you've been uh, cut off some, from somewhere, from a particular community where you felt that you belonged. And now you feel a, a great deal of pain and and loneliness and difficulty as a result of that. And you have nowhere to turn. And so this these are... Uh, some kind of scenarios which would have led you to feel this way I think here more than anything it's it's important to work through the pain and the difficulty and the emotions that make you don't make you that rob you of your happiness at this moment because that is what's going to help you to finally when, once you've released all of those emotions then ha the happiness the lightness the easiness the joy is going to come much easier right now to try to um, um, you know, to try to uh, bring joy, ha feel happy in your life. It's like trying to put a band-aid over an amputated leg or something like this. It's gonna, it's not gonna be really helpful in any way. You need for this, for this, um, this pain to be released. You need for this, this, um, you need to not feel like there's a tragedy anymore. You need to feel like you're free and you're open and you it's going to be okay. And I think the only way to do that is to work through the pain and work through the shock of that, of what has happened to you. And sometimes it just requires time, you know, and the subconscious kind of does its own processes and you will find a way through all of that by yourself. If this message hasn't resonated with you at all and you, you don't feel such grief, you don't feel such trauma, you don't feel such a, a, a deep sense of, 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 um, inability to access joy at this moment i would say that um try to do something that requires sport uh, that requires um this could also apply to you if you have do, do feel like this but try to do something that's quite sporty that gets you out and about that gets you moving that uh, requires uh, movement it could be like horse riding it could be cycling it could be something which requires it could be go-karting um, or, or something like this, you know, get out and do something that requires you to move a little bit or to, that moves you. Okay. It might also, you know, even if you travel, or go somewhere to a new place, this will also help inject a different type of energy in you, uh, or bring a, a, a different vibrational frequency into your life. A one ho hopefully of happiness. I would say here that you have great potential to be happy and to have your life back and to be as fulfilled as any other person in this world. And I think that just give yourself the chance to do that by healing yourself, by allowing yourself to to come out of this, uh, this state. And how can you be happier right now? I think if you had to make a decision that you will choose to overcome the hardship that you've had in your life, that you, that, and you have a plan as to how to do that you have some kind of way out of it even if the plan is just that i'm not going to feel this anymore i'm going to find a way out of this and you're gonna you know you're gonna think about how to come out of this i think that's going to make you feel a lot lighter at this moment and will eventually lead to you feeling a lot happier all right so i hope that that message has helped you i i feel a bit sad for you uh, if you, if you have resonated with these cards and these this message and the third option, yeah, I feel a bit sad for you that you have to undergo all of this. I don't. I want you to know that you're not alone here. You can seek help. There are a lot of professional uh, spaces from which you can seek help as well for free from most uh, governments in the world, for most institutions in the world. Uh, and I hope that you will use this uh, opportunity and you will use these these um these avenues to heal yourself and to be able to find yourself in a better space you definitely need quite a lot of tender loving care at this moment and i hope that you will find a way to be able to give that to yourself all right so i'm wishing you all the best and many many blessings to you may you find what you're looking for may you find the healing that you need and i wish you well on your path blessings abound from kismet rising